Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is a weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Let's keep you guys updated with things that I found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. Now I appreciate that most places around the world it's still Tuesday. This is a little bit earlier news because it's my son's birthday today and I'm going to be taking him out. So I'm going to get this done right now for you guys because there's still lots of things that I want to share with you. And and things that I found so we've seen quite a lot of these already um, but this is the official again packaging of some of Velocitron Wave 2 these have popped up in New Zealand in Canada and they're available for pre-order on in-demand toys at the UK so we've seen these two already of course uh, Shadow Strip and Crasher and unfortunately um, this has now been confirmed as it is pretty much the same mold no IDW head, unfortunately. No Target Master, unfortunately. It is just, as they're calling it, a Generation 1 Toy Deco version of Hot Rod. It's still going to be, as you can see, a Voyager class figure. So he looks tiny inside that box. And again, it's looking exactly the same transformation. 29 steps. Um, as I say, the official spiel is that it is the Generation 1 toy deco so unfortunately i know we were all speculating and we perhaps wanted it to be an idw head or indeed even a target master version unfortunately it isn't however more leaks that have come through so we've got a generation studio series deluxe war for cybertron cliff jumper which again is no surprise because we've had um bumblebee released well leaked over the weekend Deluxe Studio Series 86 Brawn, that again has popped up, found as a pre-order. Now these are quite interesting, so these are Studio Series for the new movie, for Rise of the Beast, and again it's using their code name. So we've got Deluxe TF7, TF7 is the Transformers 7, the seventh movie, Outlaw, which is Nightbird, and Deluxe Pluto, which is Mirage. So these again are genuine listings that have been found ready for the pre-order and you can see there the dlx tf7 is exactly what i've just said it's rise of the beast for the tf7 movie and there are the other two i've got this information from tformers.com and there's loads more uh, on there to do with all the leaks that we've had over the weekend these are some brilliant images again i've been on the fans hobby uh, facebook page and what we've got here is the combined form let me make sure i get these numbers right of mb23 and mb24 they've also got some comparison shots here with how big the jet is combined just for your as i say viewing pleasure so for the people who collect fans hobby you can have a much better idea than what i have i'm being totally honest third party is quite new to me because i don't really have many of them but this is going to give you an idea of how big it is compared to that looks to me to be overlord's ship this again i'm just so I can't believe it. I really actually think I'm going to get these because I've just got such great memories of Darkwing and Dreadwind when I was um, a child. And these are just brilliant homages to it. And of course, with it being a fan's hobby, these are going to be masterpiece size versions of the figures. So I'm super, super intrigued to see these with the colour scheme on them and, of course, see them in hand. Now, I pretty again, I'm just speculating, but I would imagine that what they will be doing is as well they'll probably do japanese versions which also means you'll be able to get buster and hydra so you'll be able to have power masters and or god masters right moving on there's another fans hobby thing you just saw that quickly that is mb06e delta baser which is going to be a tf con exclusive via the chosen prime as well so there excuse the glare again i'm at work this is the base mode there is the, it's of course, it's their version of Power Master Optimus Prime. However, it's their version of like, because they've gone Delta, it's like, again, the pre-Diaclone, pre-Transformers Diaclone color of the cab. But I like the fact that they've gone with the Power Master base, which is something completely new and completely different. Usually it would be the cab with like an Ultra Magnus style trailer, or indeed just the Optimus Prime style trailer. Whereas they've gone here with a Power Master um, trailer and com combination which i think is brilliant this looks fantastic anybody who's looking to be going to this convention um, i would definitely be getting myself one of these as well if i was going and again i know it's third party but i just love the whole concept of it and the idea such a clever idea check out the chosen prime for more details on this figure there's the cab out of the casing and again we've got some fully combined mode pictures there as well 
Right, just move my drink out of the way you can see there as well. So what we've got here now, this is a list of possible Transformers from Rise of the Beasts content. So this basically is a list of, um, I think it's other, well basically it's other companies and affiliated companies that are gonna be making products figures, toys, not just for Rise of the Beasts, but for Earthspark as well. So this has come from the Brand Licensing Europe Expo. So this is quite exciting because not only have we obviously got Hasbro and Takara who make the actual toys, we've got a list of these companies here that are also going to be making things which can be anything from figures right down to merchandise. So if we have a look, quick look at Earthspark, we've got ES licensed pocket money toys, which is brilliant. We've got fidget toys, we've got arts and crafts, so fabric flavors. So fabrics is gonna be obviously things like pajamas and clothes, etc. like that. We've got apparel, so there's Brand Alliance, and there's gonna be calendars, diaries, and Danilo Publishing, and they of course do all the things like the books. So that's gonna be, they're really gonna, obviously gonna push the boat out with Earthspark because of the fact it's gonna be aimed a lot at children as well so they might as well go for all them things whereas with um rise of the beast pretty much the same there's going to be stationary uh brand alliance and again all of these this information is taken from tfw 2005 so these are all the things that are going to be working alongside takara tomi um, and Hasbro, of course, with regards to Rise of the Beasts. Right, this way, continuing, there is yet another, if you go to the official Twitter, uh, Instagram, or Facebook pages of Paramount, or indeed Transformers, there is another Earthspark uh, trailer for you, if you want to have a look at Optimus Prime, check that out, it's just a nice little teaser. Um, the, I think the consensus with this is, from a lot of the people I've spoke to, adults, obviously, we were expecting this to be more like shall we say rescue bots, but it's not looking, it's looking, I'm not saying it's looking adult, but it's looking perhaps for that little bit of a lot, uh, of a bit of an older audience. That's the words I'm trying to get out. So I think a lot of people are pleasantly surprised with how good this is looking. And you know, it's only a, just over a month or so to wait so we can see exactly what that's gonna be like. But again, check out all these trailers. Some of them are very, very good. Right, moving on to something that this is where I need to do a quick apology and I need to, to correct myself as well. So on one of the news information videos I did over the weekend with the leak, I mentioned a red sound blaster. Now I got a little bit excited and ahead of myself and I was actually thinking it was going to be a red as in the toy color sound blaster. So I'm correcting myself right here. It is red as in of course the RED robot enhanced design figures. So there is gonna be a red sound blaster. It's just gonna be them uh, articulated figures. It's not gonna be a transforming figure from the toy line red. So it's not a completely different character or a redeco like we keep getting of COG and all that sort of stuff it literally meant and red and perhaps i was in red red as red sound blaster and perhaps i just got a little bit ahead of myself so apologies there for misinformation but we are getting an red sound blaster figure hope that's cleared that up right moving on this is again is some crazy stuff that's just popped up um, at the moment there seems to be quite a bit of stuff with regards to the animated series which of course has finished quite a bit ago now there's some more I don't want to say leaked, there's been some more unseen footage found. So again, go to TFW 2005 or go to Twitter to this particular person here. What they've got is they've got some unseen footage, uh, some unseen music, um, again, all from the animated series that, of course, was never shown. So if you were a fan of the animated season and series and you want to see some unseen stuff, go to TFW 2005 or head to this particular person's Twitter. And as you can see, they've got loads of things. I've got a few screenshots from the pieces um, that I found. Um, and yeah, it's great. The fact that, you know, we're finding these and things, there's the score, some different musics that weren't included. Right, moving on. This thing is crazy. This is a, this particular figure here. Now I've had to, because I've not seen anything like this. Um, this is, so I'm going to read this out to make sure I don't get it wrong. So this is from Generations Toys. And it's a very nice and elegant black and gold redeco of their GT11 Red Bull Beast Sideswipe, which basically transforms into a mechanical bull. And the design comes from the Dojin art book, which is a non-official Transformers T-Beasts by Kuromochi Zukan Group, which take G1 characters into mechanical beasts. And they've nailed it, absolutely nailed it. This guy in robot mode is G1 Sideswipe. Wait till you see this, it's fantastic. So we've got, but it's of course the black version. So we've got him in robot mode there, and I'm sure you'll agree again, apologies for the glare. Um, that's G1 Sideswipe with the shoulder cannon, with the face sculpt, everything. It's exactly G1 Sideswipe, but 
He doesn't transform into a car, as you can see, or as you can guess with the fact that it's a beast figure. He's transforming into a bull. This is such a great concept. Look at it. The bull is fantastically detailed. It's crazy because the robot mode, you're just expecting, there you go, you're just expecting a car. And again, it sideswipes head, but there it is. He transforms into a bull. Amazing, amazing. Um, let me just give you a quick read out of who that is again, because I think that's spectacular and show you a few more pictures of it. So it is Generations Toys GT11. This one is called Dark Knight. It's a redeco of their Red Bull Beast Sideswipe. So it's Generation Toys GT11D Dark Knight Black Beast Sideswipe. Last time, couple of pictures of this because it blew my mind the first time I saw this. Completely think it's amazing. And as I just scroll through these, you had a quick sneak peek at the next thing, which is where I'm going to be telling you that Nick Roche, or Roque, I don't know how you pronounce it, there he is. He is going to be at TF Nation's Minicon in Manchester. There's the date there. This is a UK event next year. Of course, he's very hot property at the moment with regards to comics and the wreckers especially. He is going to be at this little Minicon. This sounds like it's going to be a great event, to be honest. And speaking of events, the final thing I've got to tell you just for this part, we've already seen this leaked, which is, of course, the fourth train bot from Takara Tomy. But I imagine we're going to see much, much more of it because here's one with a white background and there's one with a black background. This weekend, Takara Tomy Hobby Expo. There you can see at the bottom, 20 set zone, 23rd of the 9th, 2022 is the official in Japan Takara Tomy Hobby Expo. So we're already getting a sneak peek there that we're going to see the train bots. Fingers crossed Raiden. That will be the HasLab Star Saber project. We've got Zoids at the bottom. We've got the new Diaclone reboot. Can't wait to see the images of that. I might actually do a special uh, video over the weekend with the images coming from that. So again, a little quick apology that this is a little bit earlier than normal. Um, everything else with regards to the channel is running as normal. I've got the videos already set, um, prepped, ready for later on. Funnily enough, it's going to be Generation 1 Bombshell with news of the fact that we're hopefully going to be getting a new deluxe version. Um, with regards to just, again, the normal run of the channel, everything is going actually as planned. It's just perfect. I'm enjoying this, as I keep saying. Um, a little new feature I might be putting in. It's a little bit like unboxing. But I suppose it's the same as unboxing, but basically it's figures that I've got that I haven't shown yet on the channel. So although I will be unboxing it and doing it as a bit of a guessing game, it's exactly that. It's just figures that I've had and not done videos on yet. So again, I might as well make it a bit of fun, um, like the unboxing. So they're not brand new. They're figures that I've had for some time, but I've not managed to do any videos on them or indeed they're not in any of the collection videos that i've done thus far so that could be a bit of fun and again just a bit more interaction for ourselves fingers crossed as well i'm going to let you know in more detail this weekend's looking more clear so hopefully i'll get the live done with everybody sit down have a chat do a q a again um on whatever you want to know so with regards to the channel i say bombshells coming up later Thrilling 30 g2 universe dreadwing funnily enough the crazy colored figure that's going to be done um, I might be getting some Wave 2 figures from Legacy this week as well. Who knows? Um, and I'll hopefully get them done. But at the moment, I'm just working through my list and getting videos done as fast as I can. Thank you, everybody, for watching this. Huge thank you to the channel members. Um, and again, more information on that and what's going on as we go through the week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.